as our week at Inskip Point draws to a close, Gary and I have ducked away to one of the quietest parts of this busy stretch of coast. Have a look back along the beach here. That's um, a good spot to pick a gutter. Yeah, which one do you want to go and fish? Although thousands of people travel up and down this beach every year, only a fraction of that number ever venture up the two kilometre trek to the top of Double Island Point, a scenic outcrop that's steeped in history. Since 1884, this lighthouse has been signalling passing ships to steer clear of the point. It's very, very spectacular. Everyone who comes up here and, and you know, stands on this headland, you know, it's a very special place. Nowadays, the area around the lighthouse is cared for by volunteers like Darlene Gower from the Noosa Parks Association. It's a community organisation that spent the last few years painstakingly restoring huts and revegetating the area. The Parks Association coordinates a program where volunteers are able to stay in the restored huts while helping with maintenance and visitor information. A truly unique experience, and as you'd expect, one that's very popular. You find it hard the more you come up here not to get more and more involved in the history, like it's hard to believe there was a house for the early guys or their families right here overlooking this. Yeah, oh, the history is great. And I think everyone who does come up here um, reads a bit about the history and, uh, and they start to feel a little bit more ownership too yeah. uh, from coming up here. And you can look around and see the work that's done and has been done over the years and people do see a very big difference. Mm -hmm.